came in there walking with the suitcases. What's good guys, it's your girl Martika back with another video and if you don't know, get to know. Hit that subscribe button down below, also hit that notification bell, stay tuned for this type of content. On the road to a thousand subscribers, join me on that journey. Listen, tonight's episode, it was okay. It had me cackling with the whole baby challenge. Zinik and Jamie been dumped from the island. I actually thought, how come, how come Paige and Adam are still there? Still there with their fakery? How is it that people are voting for Paige and Adam to stay? I've also seen pictures of Paige and Adam's like boat date, so they're going on a yacht. Yes, I'm spilling the beans already because I've seen it. It's already been spilt for me, so why not spill it for you guys? I know you guys that watch this ain't supporting Paige and Adam. Anyway, um, how are they still there? And anyway, I loved when Danica exited the villa tonight. She just gave it everything. She was there twerking and you had Jamie there walking with the suitcases. Like, he didn't, know what, he didn't know what to do. He didn't know where to put himself. He was just thinking, this girl is crazy. I think Danica and Jamie, they're going to like give it a go on the outside. And I think that would be nice for them to actually have a proper relationship without all the cameras and, you know in their face, in their morning and all them things. Yeah, Danica and Jamie dumped from the island. It was very emotional to see that Danica got emotional and how she walked in as a bombshell and stayed through the whole like Love Island um, experience without finding a man until the very end. Um, so yeah, happy for Danica and Jamie, but I don't think it was the right choice. I don't think the public voted right. It says that he will 100% give it a go on the outside, so that's good to know the girls do reminisce on Danica's departure India's like listen I had like a connection with Danica like she was obviously someone that she could relate to India gets emotional she asks Dami as well how being in the bottom three and I was just thinking how is it that she was in the bottom three with um Paige and Adam Danica and Jamie I can understand Danica and Jamie being in the bottom three and Adam and Paige but like India and Dami that was quite shocking um, and I do have some predictions that I want to like give to you guys. Um, but yeah, Indy and Dami in the bottom three, quite shocking. I expected Adam and Paige to kapoosh, go, gone. No. Ekinsu feels love to know that the public have saved her and Davide. Ekinsu is obviously a favourite in this villa at this point, And why shouldn't she feel happy that she's still in there through the second week of her entering? Like she's actually bombshelled all the way through, carried the show. Um, and then then you got Andrew and Tasha. They actually feel happy that ha haven't been in the bottom three neither. They have been in the bottom three um, many times and f it has put probably put a, a downer on their whole moods in the past, but they just seem like so chill recently. I never used to like them, but I'm like, they're all actually not that bad. She states how she didn't expect to be so far in the competition. Like, I didn't expect her to be neither. Like, I expected her to be barling, barling still, but she's actually chilled herself out. She's calmed down. Yeah, can you believe that? It's the final five, guys. Like, the final is actually coming so close. But my predictions for this year's Love Island um, winners, like, I feel like it's going to be like this. So, Paige and Adam, as they were in the bottom three in tonight's episode, I feel like they will be fifth because people are quite un unsure of them. But then saying that they did have some big exquisite um date on a yacht. Then I think then I think Andrew and Tasha will come fourth. They have had a roller coaster. India and Dami, I think they will be third. Um, because you know, they are black. What what black couple ever wins Love Island? What let's be real now, what black couple ever wins Love Island? Final two, I feel like it's gonna be Luca and Gemma and then Ekin Sue and Davide. Ekin Sue and Davide are gonna win it. I obviously want India and Dami to win it, but I'm just being real, like, it's not gonna happen. And if it happens, I take my words back. I eat all my words back, but I can't see it happening. Let's be real. The next morning, they wake up to babies barling, barling, barling. Ek and Sue's dream has come through because she's always keeps saying in, in, in the villa house, she wants babies with Davide. She wants babies with Davide. It's come through too soon. Yeah, I love the way India come for Andrew and Tasha's baby. She's like, listen, that baby is dressed like an old man. And then I feel like Andrew and Tasha were going to call their baby Frederick, like some old man name. Sorry to all the Fredericks out there, but some that's an old man's name. She was violating the baby. It's in India dancing to the baby's cries whilst Dami is holding and handling the baby. I feel like Dami was quite good with um, handling the baby, of course, because they actually won the baby challenge in tonight's episode. Dami's baby was called Funke, Sienna Funke. I'm just thinking, nah, they actually gave the baby an African name, stop it. 
and the whole when it was the baby disco like the, they did some whole baby hairs in the baby's hair forehead i was thinking now nah, they've actually gone like through with like making the babies look lit um obviously all the rest of the islanders they named their babies davide and ekin sue call their baby irina um adam and Paige call their baby sage because it matches Paige's name it rhymes or it you know rhymes with Paige, like and Paige already had like pre-planned baby names in her head so i'm just thinking like that's a bit sus isn't it she's really thinking deep into her and adam's relationship davide was actually taking the challenge serious he was actually putting sunscreen on the, the plastic piece of dolly the the piece of plastic dolly he was putting sunscreen on the dolly the, trying to protect the dolly from the sun really davide it's not that deep it ain't that deep davide so Ekin gets a text and they go on like a like a, a, a lunch in a grapefruit um, garden that looks really like nice. The girls start talking about how um, they're happy in their couples and how the guys are dealing well with the, the babies so far. And like, I can't believe that this is the final, like they're basically the final five. Like from here now, it's gonna be like what? Tomorrow's Thursday, Friday, Monday. They will be, the winner will be announced. Monday, the first of August, the winner will be announced. And I definitely think it's gonna be Ekinsu and Davide winning. Ekinsu is funny. She's got a character to her. Like with Davide and Ekinsu, they haven't they've had ups and downs, but not as much as Luca and Gemma, not as much as Andrew and Tasha. And she's a favorite, isn't she? Ekinsu is a favorite. This episode was about the dumping baby challenge. They had a whole baby disco. I've, ne I've never seen them do that in previous seasons. Um, and I was just thinking, why are they actually doing this with the, the babies, like past the, past the parcel? And f like, yeah, it was good to find out who um, won the challenge, which was Dami in India. But like, but like, they could have put something else in tonight's episode. It was a bit, it was becoming a bit boring and dry with the whole baby challenge, drag that whole challenge on. There was some funny bits in tonight's episode. Davide and the whole like sunscreen on the baby, makeup on the baby, the lashes, talking about how there's a new bombshell in the villa, her name is Arime. Ekin Sue, when they're putting the babies to bed, she starts singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and then looks at India and then is proper singing Twinkle Twinkle, proper getting into it like, Ekinsu, she you can't make it up. She just cracks me up. She just comes with the songs and comes with it, and everyone just follows. Like she's a leader. She's basically a leader, and everyone follows. Everyone else is the sheep, and especially Paige coming from Wales. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought about tonight's episode. Like, come, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.